This is Earth, the year 2100. This is the headquarters of Space Patrol. And men from Earth, Mars, and Venus live and work there as guardians of peace. looking thing. It's been attacked by a mysterious fungus. It's awful, Pop. Won't insecticides kill it? Nothing can kill it. And don't call me Pop. If Haggerty can't help us, no one can. The crops are dying in Africa, and the fungus is spreading across Europe. Talk you on the video screen, Colonel Rayburn. Thanks, Marla. Bad news, Colonel. The fungus has reached Asia. The rice crops of Japan and China have been destroyed overnight. I'll send emergency food supplies at once. Make it soon, otherwise we will starve. Marla, I want to speak to Jim Barrett at the Atlantic Underwater Farm. Quickly. We don't grow rice down here, Colonel. When people are hungry, they'll eat what you give them. Very well. If you need any extra farmhands, I'll send them down. I'd rather you sent more robots. I'll talk to my foreman and call you back. Charlie? Half the crops are dead and the rest are dying. It's the fungus. I regret to say there is more bad news. India, Borneo, and half the islands of the Caribbean have no more crops. Another call for you on the video screen. The fungus has reached the seabed. All our crops have been destroyed. Do you mean this thing has the same power in seawater? Yes, and it means I can't send you any food. Well, at least I won't have to send you any. Thank goodness robots don't eat. Goodbye, Barrett. Marla, call Professor Haggerty. This is a disaster. The fungus has got to be stopped. I am sorry, but the video screen is not working. You'd better report it. I have already done so. A maintenance man is on his way over. Fine. Ask the professor to come to my office. I have done that, too. You think of everything, Marla. A Venusian has the facility never to forget. Thank goodness you're here. The position gets worse every hour. A message from Ontario, Colonel. The wheat lands are affected. That means the whole American continent will get it next. Uh, give me time and I'll come up with something. We haven't got time. I've come to fix your screen, Colonel. Good. Isn't there any antibiotic that'll kill this fungus? No, you'll have to import food from Venus. That'll be expensive. <laughs> it's funny, Professor. Here am I talking about this fungus Yet I don't even know what it looks like. Uh, well, I brought a bit of disease tweet to show you. Oh, put it away. I've seen enough. Just think. This fungus is so infectious that the second it touches a healthy plant, the plant dies. Look, I'll show you. No! Now you've killed it. But I haven't. It's still healthy. What? It's true. Your plant hasn't died. It's a miracle. Where does it come from? 
The leader of Saturn sent it to me. It's a cutting from their holy tree. It's unbelievable any plant could resist the fungus. The wheat was covered with it. I... It's gone. The fungus has gone. What do you mean? Your Saturnian plant not only resists the fungus, it destroys it. Are you sure? Positive. Can you turn these leaves into an antibiotic? Yes, but we'll need more. I'll contact Saturn at once. Good. Those leaves of theirs are worth their weight in gold. Everything's in order, sir. Thanks. Marla? Yes, Colonel? I want to speak to Saturn immediately. Worth their weight in gold. I could just do with some gold. What are the results of the tests, Pop? Excellent, excellent, excellent. And don't call me Pop. Wonderful news from the professor. At last, we've found a way of spraying the crops and destroying the fungus. Will the Saturnians give you the leaves you want? They're letting us have the whole of their spring crop. You'd better get Dart for me and tell his crew to stand by. Will the crew of Gallosphere 347 prepare for takeoff? And will Captain Dart report to Colonel Rayburn? Now, Dart, you know what you have to do. Yes, sir. Collect the leaves from Saturn and return to Earth. At one point, though, how are we going to get past the rings? We nearly died the last time we did it. A Saturnian spaceship will guide you through them. Any more questions? No, sir. Good luck, then. I hate going through contamination control every time we leave. It is imperative not to infect other planets with Earth microbes. Who's that outside? Probably one of the men who were decontaminating our galosphere. I can hear Captain Bart. Go on, Slim. Kill all the germs. With alacrity, Captain. I'm looking forward to seeing Saturn. Captain, I'm ready. Thanks. Gallister 024 to central control. Ready for final check. Automatic course control on. Check. Gravity freezing cabin on. Check. Mesen power on. Mesen power slow and not too steady. Mesen power not picking up. What's your weight? 289,000 pounds. Recheck weight, please. You're too heavy. I'll switch on weight controllers. How is it now? Mesen unit gaining speed. All in order. Ready to lift. Takeoff program starting now. Let's get into the freezer. I'll tell central control I'm setting the time switch for 41 days. on vitamin pills. Still, it'll be worth it to make me fortune. Any news of Larry Dart? He'll soon be approaching Saturn. I hope our rationing system holds out. So do I.
The Saturnian spaceship is on the scanner viewer. Get ready to follow them through the rings. Change to primary drive, Slim. We're going down. Husky, stay here. As soon as I've picked up the leaves, we're taking off. You're not going anywhere. Who are you? Just call me Jones. What are you going to do? Get the leaves and sell them to Rayburn. They're worth their weight in gold, see? You're my prisoners now. You won't be needing your electron, Captain, or your molang. I can't understand you. How does this electron work? Uh, ah, it's for Saturn. Take me to your leader. Follow me. you the Saturnian leader? Yes, but I was expecting Larry Dart. Um, he couldn't come. Uh, he's unavoidably tied up. My name is Captain Jones. You are welcome to Saturn. Thanks. Um, uh, it's very urgent I get the leaves as soon as possible. They are ready. I have given you all the leaves from the spring flowering. There will be no more for six months. I won't need any more. This lot will do me. I will have them taken to the Galisphere. Oh, I can load them myself. Um, is it all right for me to take off my molang? Of course. We have air conditioning in all our homes. <laughs> Please follow my servant. He will take you to where the leaves are. <laughs> You have seen the leaves? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'll take them back to the Galisphere. I hope you will have something to eat with us first. We have special food for Earth visitors. All right, but I don't want to be long. Thank goodness you've got strong teeth, Husky. Huh. Plastic foam is something I don't like to eat. Help me get out of this. I'll get the anti foam gun. <laughs> I can't see any Saturnians. Their cities are underground. Follow me, I know the way. Giving way. It's all right. We're on a moving platform. Do not move. You are our prisoners. What's it all about, Captain? We'll soon find out. 
Your trick didn't work, Larry Dart. You are our prisoners, and so is Captain Jones. Captain who? You mean that Earthman who came here? Yes. He's not a member of Space Patrol. He sneaked on board the Gallosphere because he wanted to get hold of the leaves. He did not only want the leaves. He wanted to take the whole tree. That is why he tried to kill us. Kill you? Yes. With germ warfare, he is spreading a barking disease among my people. But he's only been here a few hours. Our bodies are different from yours, and already 200 of my people have died. I don't know what Jones has done, but I give you my word, we are innocent. I do not believe you. We put your Captain Jones under guard, and now the guards are dead of the barking disease, too. I can't understand it. If you'd let me have a look at... No, I will not allow you near my people. Follow me to the cells. Captain Dart has been gone a long time. comprehend you. I haven't got my electron on. We're in some trouble, all right. The Saturnians are dying like flies. If only I knew what this barking disease was. I'm afraid we'll be here for the rest of our lives. Rayburn must be wondering what has happened to us. Marla, has Dart left Saturn? No, Colonel. I wonder why not. Put through a sonar beam call to the Saturnian leader. I'll go to the radio room to take it. Very well. I will order your monobile. What's all that stuff? I can't understand a word. It's being translated now. It's from the Saturnian leader. He says the Earthmen are his prisoners because of the barking disease. Barking disease? Tell him I don't know what he's talking about. I can't tell him. They've stopped all further communication. This is terrible. We've got to get those leaves. If we don't stop the fungus from spreading, we'll starve to death. If only you'd had the sense to take off in the Gallosphere. I could not have passed through the rings alone. Now we're all stuck. <laughs> Wait a moment, please. I'll switch on my electron. Even though you are all being kept prisoners, the barking disease is still killing my people. I don't know what you're talking about. I do not believe you, but unhappily, I must make a bargain with you. What do you mean? My only child has the barking disease too. He is the next ruler of Saturn, and he must not die. If you make him well, I will allow you all to return to Earth. I can't help you. You must. I don't even know what this disease is. At least look at him, Captain. All right. Take me to your son. Follow me. There he is. He is dying. You must save him. There. You just heard it. Heard what? The barking. That isn't barking, it's sneezing. That is what Captain Jones did all the time. Barking, barking. Please, I beg you, stop this germ warfare. It's a germ, all right, but it isn't warfare. Your son, like all the other Saturnians, is suffering from Carisa. What is that? In simple terms, the common cold. Jones sneaked on board our Gallosphere without going through contamination control. He must have had a cold. And when he came into this damp atmosphere, it got worse. But why isn't he dying? Earthmen don't generally die from colds. But you are obviously different from us. Is there a cure? Yes. We breathe in a special stuff, and it cures the cold in a second. 
then cure my son. I'm not sure if we have any supplies on board. I'll go and look. Hurry. It doesn't seem to be... Ah, here it is. I wish I knew more about Saturnian anatomy. It's a strong stuff and it might do more harm than good. Got it. Come on out of the water. No. When Saturnians die, we always return to the water. You're not dying. One sniff of this and you'll be cured. I hope. What do I do with this? Sniff it. No, no, sniff, not blow, like this. You better sniff again. He is getting worse. If he dies, you will die too. And I will declare war on Earth. If we don't get the leaves from you, you won't need to declare war. Earth will die by itself. <laughs> He is cured. It is a miracle. A miracle. I will have the sacks of leaves placed in the galosphere. But first, you must cure the rest of my people. All they need do is sniff this. And to be on the safe side, you'd better signal Rayburn to send you an extra supply. I will do so at once. Will you want to take Jones with you? I certainly will. He'll have to face trial on Earth. What a relief to be leaving Saturn. You can say that again. Galosphere 347 calling Space Patrol headquarters. Our mission is successfully completed and we are returning to Earth. Come back as fast as you can. We must have those miracle leaves. Yes, Colonel. Oh, and Colonel, it's a miracle that we got them. Thank <laughs> you.